हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल जियो इजी प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल जियो इजी एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ मोर वीडियोज ओवर द नेक्स्ट फ्यू वीडियोज विल ट्राई एंड लर्न अबाउट द नेचुरल वेजिटेशन ऑफ इंडिया टूडे विल टॉक अबाउट एन अमेजिंग वेजिटेशन ऑफ इंडिया लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द यूनिक फीचर्स ऑफ ट्रॉपिकल डेसिडियस फॉरेस्ट द ट्रॉपिकल डेसिडियस फॉरेस्ट इज फाउंड मेनली इन द ट्रॉपिकल एरियाज ऑल्सो The trees in this forest lose their foliage at the end of the typical growing season and are called the deciduous forest. Often the tropical deciduous forest are also labeled as the monsoon forest. Tropical deciduous forest are the most widespread forests of India. They are often classified as moist deciduous and dry deciduous forest on the basis of the availability of water. In this video we'll try to cover both At first let's have a look at the moist deciduous forest. Moist deciduous forests are found in areas with heavy rainfall for a major part of the year and followed by a marked dry season. The average annual rainfall is between 100 to 200 cm. On an average the annual temperature remains high between 24 degree to 27 degree Celsius. The humidity percentage also remains very high about 80%. These forests exist therefore mainly in the eastern part of the country along the foothills of Himalayas and are also found in Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh and on the eastern slope of Western Ghats. The trees of the moist deciduous forest have a lot of unique features. For instance, the term deciduous are often referred to as falling off at maturity indicating at the process of shedding. The trees shed their leaves once a year during the dry season for about 6 to 8 weeks. Also, the moist deciduous forest are commercially most exploited forests of India. Moist deciduous forests are home to trees with broad leaves such as sal, teak, arjun, shisham, mulberry, sandalwood and many others. Each of the trees of the moist deciduous forest have adequate economic importance. For instance we are all aware of the fact that the silk worms feed on the mulberry leaves teak is known for its rich timber and sandalwood is sold at very high price and have great value in the market this brings us to the second type of deciduous forest that is the dry deciduous forest dry deciduous forest are found in areas having rainfall between 100 to 70 cm and average temperature around 23 to 27 degrees celsius these forests are found in the rainier parts of the peninsula plateau and the plains of bihar and uttar pradesh dry deciduous forests also have some good characteristic features as well these forests thrive between moist deciduous forest and tropical thorn forest during the dry season the trees in these forests shed their leaves completely and give the forest a look of a vast grassland with and varnished trees dry deciduous forest have a large variety of trees such as teak sal rosewood and khair like the moist deciduous these forest also have high economic value sal and teak provide rich timber bale fruit is eaten raw and has natural healing property khair tree is very useful in treating dental problem that's all for today Don't forget to like, share and comment below. And stay tuned for more videos.